Hi everyone, with the spirit of learning, welcome back to my video in YouTube. My name is Angga from Indonesia. And long time no see, I've been busy for the workshop UI and UX design. And today I'm gonna show you how do we make an animation with the Flinto and Sketch. Well, previously I've been designed with the Sketch app. I'm switching back the Adobe XD to the Sketch because I think Sketch was powerful from the Adobe XD. And for the animation, I'm gonna use Flinto because it's more easier than Principal or Adobe After Effects. So animation is the best thing that you have to have in your own product because animation could explain a billion of words and can explain to the developer how your product works. If you don't have an animation on it, make sure you have to tell one by one to the developer and it's kinda wasting your time. So make sure you're gonna learn about the animation and you promise yourself that you don't want to wasting time by explaining your product. So right now, let's get started. Hi people with the spirit of learning. Yeah, welcome to my desktop and here is this. We're gonna learn about the animation and we're gonna learn about the uh, user interface for an UI UX, okay? So here that I'm previously I have been designed with sketch. This is really nice, you know, it was so easy, so fast. And I prefer like sketch right now because it's more easier than any design tool, I think so. So yeah, we need to learn about the user animation today in this video with the Flinto. So I have prepared one screen here that first of all you have to select all of those artboard and then you click import. And it's importing your artboard through the Flinto. Okay, it's quite nice, right? So the case study is if I click this menu, it goes to this design, right? So you have to create a link. Sorry. First of all, you have to select this uh, design, this element, and create link and then you have to use a new transition okay then after that you align the screen so it's just like this if you don't align the screen it become like uh, there's a transition between the screen you know so if we align the screen we don't see any transition on it but the transition is only available on those elements such as like this so if you move here you see just like this right so nice so we have to we have to move all of them over here yeah yeah just like this oops so for you if you if you have sketch and finto Please download this uh, project file in the description. Just check in the video's description. And this one, I'm going to move here and opacity is zero. And then the duration, you don't have to setting to be longer. Just make it, uh, just make it 500, if that's enough. And for this one, we're going to the, uh, it depends on you if you want to make like bonds, you know. But it's it is it's like uh, so hard, you know. So you have to decrease to make it soft. But it doesn't working like that. Like this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, like this. Or you, could, you can also uh, custom this animation to another thing, you know, maybe like this, it's, it's just like a bounce, okay, but I prefer like to use a classic because we just need to make it fade in and fade out, it's, it's just like the normal animation, so the, the developer can do this quickly and easily, okay. And this one you setting to become a classic and don't forget to setting 500 and the delay is 500 so means that 
if we start like this it will appear after this right so just repeat here and here and here so if you see this it's just like wow so cool right so that's why uh, you have to setting the delay the delay is always increasing one by one this is 500 and 800 if you see on the property and 1000 and the last one is supposed to be uh, 1200 okay and for this one the button close we're gonna make it smaller and put nowhere and just change the opacity like this but we're gonna use this one so it's, it's just like wow you know but make sure that the thing is not really hard so you could easily to setting and customize these things okay but how do we make it uh, for the duration is supposed to be longer it just like you know this okay but we have to setting the delay to 1400 means that this close button will be appear after all of those tasks appear yeah you see that let me yeah that okay and for this this is the background of those menu we're gonna make it smaller and smaller and gone okay so if you click like this yeah it, it just like uh, sewing okay looks cool right so you're gonna save it and then the last one is we have to setting an animation for this okay so we click this close button and then create link to come here and new transition again so if we don't setting a line screen it will become like this you see that so make sure that you align the screen and it just like this so we're gonna select these things okay and make to bottom and then setting the classic to the 500 and zero it just like this okay oh sorry 500 okay cool and for this card you see there's a card uh, in the right and in the left so we're gonna make it smaller and just put nowhere and then this is supposed to be a delay like this after disappear okay so first of all you have to uh, make it smaller first just make it smaller then after that we're gonna setting the delay later on but make sure the duration is a uh, 500 because otherwise it's gonna be faster than a uh, default of setting and for the mochi yeah we want to make it smaller and smaller all right so we're gonna make it like this and we're gonna make like a bounce you know twang wang 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 okay but there's a delay on it so make sure you don't setting a delay twang wang wang okay so i think that i'm gonna setting again to make it more oh it's too hard done like this but for this okay cool so if you're gonna preview like here and then yeah okay but i think it's it's too hard you know it just like the too hard not really softer so make sure we have to setting the velocity is not too much okay and for the tension okay and for the friction as oh, free yeah i think it's supposed to be good 
okay and for the we go back to the star and for the card bonuses we can move to the classic and then bottom and then setting the opacity to the zero but setting the delay 500 okay so if you preview here okay and for this one we have to move to the bottom move and move the reason why i move one by one otherwise if you select all of them by one group it will setting all of them together so that's why you have to move it one by one and one by one and one by one supposed to be 500 uh what with the delay maybe 700 and this is supposed to be the live uh 400 and this is the live for uh, 150 okay so if we apply now all right so the last one we just need to setting this uh menu so this we're gonna make it smaller smaller and the duration is 500 and then the delay is after this menu is appeared means that 1200 all right and then the last one is this menu okay make it zero and then the delay sorry the duration is 500 and the delay is 1500 so we're gonna preview them okay and if you click this will appear the menu okay you close wow looks nice right yeah so this is the simple things that you could use in this flinto to make an animation for the user interface design to explain how your product works properly so thank you very much okay guys i hope you were enjoying my tutorial about the animation with sketch and flinto you know it's so easy right and for you if you don't have a mac then you, you're not able to use sketch and flinto you don't have to be worried because you're still able to use uh what was that a uh, protopy just check in this video you're gonna learn about the uh, protopy okay make sure you subscribe my channel because you're gonna get a lot of update from me and yeah nice to meet you from indonesia see you in the next video bye